Good morning. I'd like you to meet my best friend. My refrigerator. Da 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 da. Why do I love my refrigerator? Because I love food. Ha, I, you couldn't tell from looking at me, but I love food. And so do you. But you, like me, probably like the stuff you shouldn't be eating. All the nasty stuff. All the cruddy stuff. Well, you need to eat right. And when you do, you're always told, eat your fruit and vegetables. Eat your fruit and vegetables. So what do I live on? I live on zucchini. Zucchini is like 15 calories for one cup. A whole cup of zucchini is only 15 calories. But when you add anything to make it taste good, like normal people do, like my friend, olive oil, I eat olive oil and everything. I drink this stuff. I put it under my arms. It's wonderful. But it's 100 calories per teeny tiny tablespoon. Or my favorite and yours, chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, seek mental health. This has been a public service announcement. Chocolate. Chocolate is about a chameleon calories for a tablespoon. A chameleon. They don't tell you that on the label because they can't fit it on there. But it's, it's really a lot. Okay. But, so what do you do? You fill up on the fruit and vegetables, which are the teeny tiny calories, and you only have a little bit of the other stuff until you can cut it out altogether. So here's the good news. This stuff works, okay? It does work when you eat the filling things that are less calories. There's no more room for the nasty stuff, the, the heavy, high-calorie stuff. That's the good news. The bad news is it's everywhere. It's not just physically, it's spiritually. God tells us that if we walk by the Spirit, we are not walking in the flesh. And if we fill ourselves up with spiritual things, there's no room for the things of the flesh. So you can't be filling up on nasty, high calorie, high cost, if you will, sin and spiritual things at the same time. He says, in Galatians 5, Paul says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. So what the, what's the bottom line? It's fill up. Eat all you can. Eat all you want of zucchini. It's good for you. You can even taste it. Make it taste you with healthy ways. Not olive oil. It's healthy, but only a little, little amount. But the fruit of the Spirit, see, there's a fruit of vegetables, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law, and there is no diet. So, fill up on the fruit of the Spirit. Fill up on that fruit of the Spirit, the good stuff, and you won't be having room. You'll, you'll be satisfied, and you won't have room for the nasty stuff. But first, you need to fill up with Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit to take over your life, fill your heart, then fill you with His Holy Spirit to take up the room that makes you so busy you won't be bothered with that other stuff.